Welcome to another session of scattering parameters. In lecture number five, we are going to learn what is scattering parameters. To start with, first let us understand why do you need scattering parameters. In lower frequencies, we always have Z parameters, H and T parameters to measure various types of voltages and current of the given circuit. Microwave does not work in voltage and current. They work on electric field and magnetic field. Moreover, total voltages and poor currents for a particular circuit to measure at microwave frequency is a very difficult task. It is not easy to have a short and an open circuits also. Active devices like the power transistors and tunnel diodes also do not exhibit stability at such a high frequencies. As a result, we require a particular set of uh, parameters by the name scattering parameters. What you mean by scattering parameters is that the wave is incident at one port and the wave is scattered from either from the same port or from the adjacent ports. For the S parameters, we consider the following circuit. It's a two port network. For a two port network, we assume that the incident voltage is given as V1 plus, whereas the wave is reflected from the same port as V1 minus. Similarly, the wave incident at port P2, sorry, port P2 is given as V2 plus and the wave reflected back is V2 minus. In generalized, the scattering parameters is given by the following S matrix. If you look at this matrix, it looks like V1 minus is equal to S11, S V1 plus plus S12 V2 plus, V2 minus equal to S21 V1 plus plus S22 V2 plus. Now let us understand what does S11, S12, S21 and S22 signify? When we take a generalization, it is always seen as the V1 minus is equal to S into V plus. What does minus rep represent? The wave reflected back. Whereas the V1 plus represents always the forward wave. That means scattering parameters helps us to find out the ratio between the phasor voltages. Scattering always has the formula of reflected wave upon the incident wave. Now let us go in detail. S11 signifies over here V1 minus upon V1 plus. This is at the same port. We call it as input reflection port. Please note port 1 is considered to be at the input side. What does the second one signify? S21 that is V2 minus upon V1 plus. Can you all observe? It is always the reflected wave upon the incident wave. It is always represented as the second numerical written over here will be always given at the denominator and the first one written over here will be always given at the numerator. V2 minus upon V1 plus S21 is called as forward transmission coefficient. This is when the output port is terminated with a matched load. When we are finding the next one S12 which is V1 minus upon V2 plus, please observe V1 is at the numerator, V2 is at the denominator, the negative upon positive, keeping the first port in the match condition. Match condition over here means there is no reflection. Similarly, S22 signifies the output reflection coefficient when input port is, replaced, is terminated with a match load. That is V2 minus upon V2 plus, keeping V1 plus to be equal to zero. So S parameters give you the complete characterization of the network at high frequencies. It becomes that the use of short and open circuits are not at all necessary. We are going to have a normalized frequencies and we will be plotting Smith chart with the help of these. Let us find the properties of S parameters. Property number one is your, property number one is the reciprocal property. What does reciprocal mean? S12 is equal to S21. That is, in general, we write Sij is equal to Sji. What does the reciprocal property mean? That is, whatever is happening from port 2 to port 1, the same thing happens from port 1 to port 2. Can we call this as a bidirectional? Yes, it's a bidirectional circuit. What does symmetrical mean? Symmetrical mean S11 is equal to S22. That means both the parameters of S11 can be equivalent to S22. What does it mean to be a network to be lossless? 
Network is considered to be lossless if it has an unity property and the zero property. Let's see at those properties. The unity property. In unity property, we always assume that when the parameter is multiplied to itself, to itself, it is always taken to be as unity. But if they are multiplied to the complex conjugate of the neighboring, it will be always zero. That we can see in the next property, which is called a zero property. In general, we write as S11 into S11 conjugate plus S21 into S21 conjugate is always equal to 1. This can be these properties will be used in microcomponents explanation. The converse of unity property represents the zero property in which the parameters are not with itself but to the neighboring, co neighboring adjacent coefficients. S11 into S12 conjugate plus S21 into S22 conjugate equal to 0. This explains the various properties of S matrix. Thank you.